Hello, this is Raven. This is my channel on tarot and witchcraft and crystals. And today we have tarot and crystals. Oh, let's see, it's the new moon. So yeah, it's the new moon after a lot of astrological shifts. What happens is that during the full moon, we are energetically filled up with that water energy and the energy of the sign. And then on the new moon, we become emptied again. And this is the time that um, we can lay intentions. At the full moon, we're overflowing, and that's when the releasing happens. And in the new moon, we are made new. And without further ado, this is a pick a card. This is new for me. I've been doing daily readings. Dropped off on that a little while while I've been reforming, formatting my channel and everything. But um, we're doing pick a card, so I want you to use your intuition to pick one of these cards. Group number one, this is Rose Quartz. Group number two, this is Tourmaline. Group number three, this is Desert Rose. So uh, yeah, now would be the time to use your eyes, use your intuition, whatever is just a little bit shinier and sparklier and attractive to you is usually the way to go. Um, or any strong feeling as well. If you have no strong feelings, it's okay to just pick one, but uh, it will work the best if you can give yourself a moment to kind of drop into your body, clear your mind, and then open your eyes back up um, and allow uh, one of these to kind of pull your attention and just pick that one. So you will go um, into the, the description of this video and I have a time mark, a time stamp there. That way you can skip to either group number one, group number two, or group number three and listen to your reading. Group number one. Um, I am doing this reading as the seven chakras. That's the layout that I'm choosing. So I'll be talking a lot about chakras as well as we have this rose quartz happening. So this is six, five, four, three, two, and one. And this should kind of show everything um, that has to do with a life. I love my little chakra spread. It's my first time using it. So we're gonna start with sorts, start with, with a spirit, and we have the sweat lodge for that. This is from the Mystical Shaman Oracle. Um, you know, every culture uses this. It's not just Native uh, American. There isn't a culture that hasn't discovered the transformative power of getting really hot and sweaty in a closed and dark space. And it's kind of like a rebirth ceremony. Entering into a sweat lodge is always kind of a rebirthing of the self. Um, in that sense, it's kind of a second chance. And this is your message from spirit right now in this new moon. The new moon is a beginning time for, for you. It's a time to plant seeds. So whatever seeds you're planting right now, this card is telling me that this is going to be a really significant seed for you. This is going to be a significant two months. So this covers the time of the new moon to the full moon. And so what you are growing now is a real turning over from a dark place and obvious, and sometimes it also feels like a dark place. It also feels like a shadowy place. We're talking about shadow work. We're talking about looking at the stuff we don't want to look at in order to be reborn. And this is what you are being supported supported at doing group number one, supported at entering into this furnace of transformation. So really intense time for you. It really relates to what's going on with your um, physical surroundings. So the devil card, something that, you know, there's a lot of fear around this card. What the devil card means is illusion. 
and sort of getting tied up in illusion. That illusion is usually that uh, illusion of separation, the illusion of individuality. And when this is in the root chakra position, what we're talking about group number one is that you're, you're experiencing like a sense of isolation and that's coming from your root chakra issues. So that is your survival and your body and your sense of wanting to be here on this earth. So you're really being asked to put some faith into your um, ability to survive here. And by survival, I'm just talking about, you know, hopefully we're not talking about literal survival, although this could come out with even suicidal ideations and stuff like that. Um, but most of the time it's going to come out with sort of like shifts in your home, your housing, your work, your ability to make money. Maybe it's being triggered through a relationship, um, although it doesn't look so like that because here in your relationship, um, section. This is this is chakra number two, group number two and um, one. So group number one, what's happening in your creative life, sexual life? Your the part of you that is connected to the element of water is that you're sort of really just keeping the balls in the air and feeling a little bit of putting this on a back burner because you have these burning issues here. You have this burning issues around your home and your security and your security in some way. And so all of the energy that you would normally put into creatively moving forward in the world, you are actually having to a little bit like turn down the dial on that and just keep it rolling while you pay attention to some other stuff. Um, and your best way to do that and the way that you are doing that is by the efforting that you have been doing, especially in your work. You've been putting a lot of effort in, in your career, in your passion, in your work, in your calling even, but you're doing it in such a way that it's just day by day, um, going over details, building skills. There's sort of this workmanship quality about where you are with your work right now, and that is appropriate. And that is also a coping mechanism. This is how you are putting one foot in front of the other to continue to move forward in the work world whilst um, there's sort of this shaking happening at your foundation. So let's keep going with this. So this is the heart chakra. So this is solar plexus and this is heart. And this is pretty cool. The three of pentacles. I want to just step back and look at how many friggin pentacles you have here. This is all about your home and your work and your security and your body and your health. You're really at a time of manifesting, which is so cool because this is the new moon and this is the time to manifest. And what we are manifesting at the time of the new moon in Aquarius is in fact um, things that are going to disrupt the way that we've been doing things. Things that are going to take the foundations and structures of our life, which are moving astrologically right now in a personal sense and in a grand um, cultural sense, those are being rebuilt and the way that that is and redefined and the way that that is coming up for you is so kind of like, I don't know, it's so in your physical surroundings and possibly in your health, but although I'm seeing that it's more in your work and passion and contribution life, I would not be surprised if some of you have lost your job this month, especially if you're in California, there was that law that happened. A lot of freelancers are losing their jobs. So in any case, the three of pentacles, there is an opening through whatever is happening that's kind of shaking your foundations. There is an opening in your heart space, 
and that is completely aligned with this beautiful um, rose quartz. The rose quartz is a heart chakra stone. The rose quartz is about joy and opening up and healing. It's just 100% heart is the way I feel about the rose quartz. And this uh, spread is reflecting that even though you're having to kind of make do when it comes to your creativity and when it comes to your ability to like make big changes in terms of your willpower into the world and your personality, all of that is a little bit on the back burner. However, your heart is opening up, especially to other people and especially to working with other people. So if there are opportunities right now um, in the shaking up that has happened with your work and housing life, um, there may be opportunities coming for you in these two weeks for collaboration of some kind to work with other people in a way where you're able to focus on your own gifts because that is the beauty of collaboration. It almost gives you the ability to specialize and become better and more attuned to your own unique gift on this world. So look for opportunities to connect with people around work. Look for opportunities to connect to people, especially in ways that will be a seed going forward that will give you a different kind of uh, structure physical structure to build your life on. There's some big changes coming for you right now. Um, and you have the wheel of fortune in your sixth chakra area. So this is the throat chakra. This is communication. This is vibration. We're getting a little bit more up into subtle energies. So I love it that this is where we have another major arcana card coming through. So this card, the wheel of fortune is telling me that you have some real karmic activity happening and that is a good thing karmic activity means that whatever challenges and obstacles you're coming across right now are in your best interest have come up probably again and again in different forms in this lifetime in other lifetimes and they're all there in order to lead you into your highest good into your highest potential so even though there's this sense of like why is this happening to me right now in fact your six chakra communication higher vibration is telling you that you are um kind of experiencing exactly what you need it's a little bit of a tough love situation right now bringing you into the availability for rebirth and then the, your third on your third eye chakra you have the nine of pentacles so this is pretty cool this is you another pentacle i have to just point it out again pentacles pentacles everywhere the sweat lodge is also pentacles. Um, the sweat lodge is also using the different elements of the earth. And um, there's sort of like a number four. There's this, this, okay, I need to cut this out because this is a little bit, so. So that's bringing us into your um, third eye chakra and you have the nine of pentacles. So this is sort of a homecoming card this is someone this is you stepping into a little more or a lot more ease when it comes to trusting your intuition when it comes to experiencing subtle experiences so even though we have all of these pentacles laid out so you're really necessarily caught up in your survival issues right now at the same time this is opening up your heart this is opening up your um you into higher vibrations that are bringing you into your karmic truth and this is opening you up to trusting yourself in that more this little bird that she has in her lovely garden this is about um having mastered like her own let's just call this a spirit animal right now her intuition pulling her her pulling her on um so 
this pulling her forward is what I'm trying to say. So this is becoming more comfortable and more in tuned and more in a close symbiotic relationship with your own inner voice. So a lot of kind of spiritually opening right now and this rose quartz especially is telling me that this is coming through your heart. Your heart right now is your gateway into these higher vibration um, uh, um, chakras. Your heart right now is your gateway into these higher vibration chakras. And the only way you're going to do that is to actually get really plugged into the physical and manifest some stuff. Um, so you have a really interesting balance between manifestation and ascension um, and kind of the more subtle energies. So these are both good things. And the more that you can... I feel like what you need in order to balance out all of this earth energy right now and to make sure that it's not getting stuck and it's flowing is water. The sweat lodge is water and fire and air and the earth mound all put together. So make sure that you are physically getting yourself um, in with the earth elements right now, whether that's gardening or hiking or sitting in a dark space and looking at a candle. If you can't get to an actual sweat lodge, go to the spa, do something, take a long ritualistic bath. And my prescription, if you will, for you on this new moon is to take a bath. Get yourself into something sweaty and wet and allow yourself to be really internal and then maybe write down a little bit of um, your experience. I would say don't make any lists. Just do sort of like a, a stream of consciousness a couple of times and allow whatever symbolism and crazy thoughts you can't think of anything to say you just say new moon new moon new moon over and over again until something else comes out so um this is going to bring our major arcana in the communication chakra through and this is going to resolve some of this feeling of being stuck in illusion right now so big times for you bright blessings to you i will um, see you next time and please comment and subscribe i do it i'm doing uh, stuff every friday and i'm it looks like i'm doing these new moon things so all right see you later bye next click all right group number two let's see what we have for this new moon in aquarius for you first of all there's tourmaline um amazingly cleansing this stone amazingly grounding it's just going to suck any excess energy out and put it down into the ground and you have the sun um this card is pretty similar to the tarot sun um, so that's cool. So we are doing the chakra system. Um, this is really enjoying this chakra spread. Well, group number two, you have the sun up here. This is similar to the tarot sun. Um, this just means that you're available for some growing, available for some shining, available for some shininess of the personality of the self. Um, and this is coming straight from source. So we're just not talking about being egotistical and inappropriate or shallow or any of the things that we think of when we think of the ego. We're talking about a genuine expression of your gifts and your purpose and your contribution to making a better world. This is a time that you can use your charisma to get some stuff done. So let's see what that all looks like. Down in your uh, root chakra, so this is your sense of safety, security, body. It looks like you are pretty grounded. You do have some kind of security happening. And there is um, 
an ability then opening up for you to kind of get deeper with it. To, so you have a certain amount of stability happening in the realms of your, your home and your work and your health so that you're able to get out of the your own way when it comes to survival thinking and start looking at um, what is just and what is right. And it looks like you may be sort of weighing a decision that will affect your security, but it's coming about in such a way where you're pretty resourced in that you do have some freedom when it comes to um, making that decision. So let's look deeper at this. Um, it may have something to do with um, kind of a burst of creativity that's coming through in this new moon to full moon period for you, group number two, the Ace of Wands. So there's something happening. There's a lot of wands in this here spread. So there's a lot of transformation available to you and it's gonna really be like physically out in the world making a change. Um, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the Ace of Wands in your second chakra, this is the house in the center of your, your creativity, your sexuality, your ability to move and change on a lot of levels. And there is change coming through for you with some kind of creative opportunity. And by creative, we might be talking about, you know, art and creativity, but we also are just talking about an opportunity that has the ability to sort of grow and develop into the future in a way that has a lot of potential. These are aces. Um, so this is the essence of fire coming through for you in your second chakra wands being fire and your second chakra being your source of creativity and uh, relationship to change in a lot of ways and so you are open to that this is exciting stuff and also a bit challenging because it's coming through in your third chakra in the, the part of you that is self-assertive so this is the sun this is the wow so the sun your ego is available for this transformation right now and it's available to sort of like step into it and shine and that is because you also have this kind of triggering of past issues coming up. I like to call the nine of wands the PTSD card. So you are being challenged in terms of the way that you think of yourself. You are being challenged in terms of your concept of self. And that is a, opening you up into this redefinition and it's opening you up into this cleansing out of the ego ideas of the self. And the thing that is bringing that up for you are maybe some challenges from the past, maybe the ways that you have had to adapt to your life by creating some defensiveness and creating some coping strategies. And that is being burned away and cleared out with all of this fire energy right now. And that is creating opportunities for you. Um, and then coming up into the heart, you have the five of wands. So it's coming out in your relationships in some way. It's coming out in your love relationships, possibly in family relationships. There is sort of a tension of a lot of forces and maybe a feeling of some chaos. So this is part of that burning away that I'm talking about that transformation that is happening and it is bringing you into, um, yeah, there really is a sense of not knowing what is coming up in the future for you and not, and having, you may be having group number two, some difficulty expressing yourself verbally, some difficulty expressing and communicating exactly what's happening for you or even being able to conceptualize that. So 
trust that, roll with it, run with it, because um, it is in fact bringing you into like, I don't know, a little more humility, a little more availability for um, a little vulnerability, availability for vulnerability. That's what's happening with all this transformation. And it's pulling you into some kind of a decision that's going to affect your um, sense of security. And I think that this is this decision has to do with this opportunity coming online for you in something um, in this next two weeks that is going to have a lot of potential for transformation for you and for the world because we are talking about your personality coming out of hiding right now and starting to shine forth in a way that is maybe challenging who you think you are and breaking out some of these, um, you know, the reasons that we don't shine are always because of this coping mechanisms of the traumas of the past. Um, so that is starting to crack and fade away. It may be creating a little bit of conflict in your personal life, but this is really in line, however. This is in line with um, you coming into yourself in a new way. So this is fantastic, and it really is also aligned with what's going on astrologically in that the old structures are falling away, our kind of ideas around... Um, yeah, around culture and society are proving to be um, not really working, especially the consumerism and the ecological destruction. So all of that can, in fact, be in line with the ego personality of the individual. And that is what you are being led into realizing and to lend your personality your story, your individuality into the mix in a positive way because ultimately the sun is positive. The sun is um, nurturing. The sun does encourage life. It, it pulls new life out of the darkness. Um, and intuitively, this is bringing out this vulnerability that's going to allow this childhood stuff to dissolve and your real stuff to come through. So it's an interesting time for you. Like it is kind of a challenging time, a confusing time, but at the same time, um, I don't know, there's a real sense of personal power in what's happening for you right now. There is a real optimism in what's happening for you right now. Um, be okay with not being able to exactly define yourself and or even to put too much into communicating exactly what's going on and just be with the unfolding process because it will come back and you will kind of like, you know, blossom like a sunflower into this new sense of self and this personal power. So this is what I have for you from today up until the full moon um two weeks of information here and this stone is also really encouraging you to ground down so what does that mean it means you need to take you need to get some sunlight on your shoulders you need to take um get your feet in the grass you need an actual electromagnetic exchange between your body biofield and that of the earth. And this is what this tourmaline is telling me, that this is going to clear you out and clear out all of this energy and make way for this. So go ahead and do that. Bright blessings to you, much love, and I will see you later. And next. Welcome group number three. This is your reading for the new moon to the full moon. So we have full moon, so we have a couple of weeks worth of counsel here and we're starting with the rattle um, this is your card from spirit your message from spirit coming through um, so we're gonna look at that and you have a rose desert rose here 
I love these, they're so beautiful. Anyway, okay, so I am actually doing a chakra system, a chakra spread, and this is gonna give us an idea of the entire self, the sort of story of what's going on through your biofield, your body, and your story. And I can already tell, group number three, you have a lot going on, um, a lot of beautiful, significant stuff. You've got kings. Oh my God, you have three kings. Hello. So king, the way that I interpret kings is that especially when it's coming up like this, what you're looking at is a um, leap in consciousness and integration into self-mastery and especially consciousness, air. This is the airy part of whatever suit it is. And air is consciousness. So you really are stepping up in terms of your ability to perceive right now. Um, so let's start with this message from spirit. You have the rattle. So this is a tool. This is a tool of the divine. This is from the mystical shaman oracle. The rattle is um, the way that the shaman communicates with spirit. It's a way, it's almost like a spell casting tool, a way to communicate out into the world through sound and vibration and symbolism. Um, I'm really feeling this a lot lately with my sort of vocal channeling, chanting stuff. It's, it's, um, it's just like a direct channel to spirit and that's what the rattle is. And so what this means for you is to use, you're really being called into using your mode of self-expression for the higher good. So there's sort of a step up right now from say, let's say you are a spellcaster or a prayer or just someone who goes after the things that you want. Like you are being go in the middle of a shift that's beginning right now and sort of leading you up into the full moon. A shift in consciousness where you're not so much thinking in the microcosm about your own life and what you want, but shifting into what the world needs and the highest good of everyone and knowing that in that your needs are met. So there's sort of a spiritual evolution coming for you. And so what that is looking like is this, this death card is in a beautiful place for you. So this is transformation. So you have a real closing of the book on some part in the part of yourself that is caught up in lack mentality that is caught up into survival mode and the part of you that is caught up into um, when you came onto this earth as an itty bitty baby through your mother's body you um, came with a certain amount of karmic baggage you chose this particular place because you had these particular lessons to learn there's some sort of intention there even if you don't think that your soul chose it still god or spirit or source or the unified field is experiencing itself through you in this particular way and um there is a part of you that is dying, dying to the idea of having to scramble for survival and have all of your energy go into that. And it is being born into your soul purpose, into why the universe decided to manifest itself as a you, chooser, of group number three. Wow, so that's amazing. This is actually, I know death card can be a little scary for people, but this is a really wonderful thing to happen um, in terms of turning over spiritual revolution in your root chakra here. So um, you're sort of freed, you're becoming freed from all of this survival BS. Um, and in your creativity, 
in your um, your sense of self, in your assertiveness, in your self confidence, and in your intuition, you are arriving on a new level of consciousness. So what that feels for you in your life right now, it may feel a bit like you you want to go in, you want to kind of maybe even isolate. There's some part of you that really needs to pay attention to your internal story and may not feel like you know the way forward, but the hermit, the hermit has his own light, is lit by his own lantern through a landscape that may feel unfamiliar. This is not laid out before you in a way that you expected. This transformation that you're going through right now, this shift in consciousness, this is such a shift in consciousness spread. And it really makes sense that in the heart chakra, in your relationships, you really are actually a little bit cocooning yourself and not knowing how you're going to, as you shift as a person and in the way that you see the world and interact with it, and then what pulls you forward, it might not be clear right now how that is going to play out with your relationships with other people. How is that gonna change your relationship with your partner? Are you still in the same kind of vibration that your partner is in? Your family, your work, all of the important relationships in your life are a little bit shifting as your consciousness is shifting. And so pulling back from it a little bit might be an impulse that you can heed right now with some confidence. It's okay to go into cocoon mode when it comes with your relationships. And that doesn't, cocoon mode does not necessarily mean any strong changes. It simply means that you are kind of in a period of transformation. You're having some, um, some time for that to happen. Um, and what's happening with your communication and um yeah this is interesting you have the seven of swords so i'm wondering if these two things are related something is coming out in your relationships right now where the underlying truths are being shaken up to the surface Ugh, maybe some things that are even a little difficult to look at but this is a time of shifting into consciousness. Now, when it comes to your intuition and your, your psychic senses and your, um, I don't know, just like your connection to spirit, you, um, it's like there's a increased availability for you through this shift in consciousness and bringing that into your physical life. That's what it's meant by switching your tools over to be the tools of the divine. That's what it means, like whatever your tools are. So my tool right now is YouTube. My tool right now is my iPhone camera. And those are be have become my tools of connection with the divine that is my rattle right now so that would be an example of using your tools shifting them over your very physical kind of surroundings to become almost a mouthpiece for what is coming through you in your consciousness um and then in your personality and in your will in the world, you really are becoming a little more attuned. This is connected again to this third eye chakra. This is, you are getting some watery, intuitive, emotional understanding or something to understand about emotions is that Emotions are the way that our unconscious, I read this today and I loved it, but the, the emotions are the way that our unconscious knowing get pulled into the conscious world. I had such an emotional day with this new moon. I was just really feeling it and it just seemed to come out of literally nowhere. I have no reason to despair or anything, but I just had to spend all day kind of repairing and self-caring myself 
because something around what's coming out right now, what's coming through my emotions, something in the deep self was coming out emotionally. So um, you may be feeling more emotional um, information in your, um, I don't know, in your, the way that you create change in the world with your will and your assertiveness, kind of like the, the part that you, that you show everyone else, um, your, your, what do you call that? Your, um, the thing that drives you forward is coming from this new emotional place. So that's a bit of a shift. And then in terms of your creativity and sexuality, your ability to change and move, your movement, um, your, your feeling the consciousness, no. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this, this shift in consciousness, you know, is coming about in terms of what it is that is inspiring you, what it is that is pulling you forward in your life, what it is that makes you get up in the morning. It is shifting away from the physical stuff, shifting away from the survival stuff and is moving more into um, just kind of like being tapped tapped into um, the way that your consciousness constructs, oh shoot, sorry, the way that your consciousness constructs the world around you. So this Desert Rose is telling that. And this is such a lovely um, stone and crystal to have as a complement to this change that's happening in your survival self. This is grounding you through all of that. This is creating, um, this is nurturing this part of you that is creatively finding a new way to express yourself, using your emotions as the thing that is um, inspiring you and your intuition, um, finding ways to express the divine and your spiritual side and and even if it's not spiritual you're probably you're probably spiritual if you're watching this okay but <laughs> even if this is more about self-development for you that anything that goes beneath the surface um is that is becoming that that awakening and that um, journey to self-discovery is becoming your how and your why and you need to find the right tools to make that happen you need to find the right um, kind of habits to support that so this could be as big as a shift in your career or it could be as small and, and ultimately as wonderful and comforting as a shift in your um, habits, you know, in your morning ritual and what you do for recreation, all of that is just leveling up in terms of consciousness, in terms of being connected to the divine, in terms, those are your tools, those are becoming your tools. So you really are lovingly, wonderfully supported in that, as we can see with this desert rose, um, which is so grounded and um, it's really like a solar stone. It is about um, growth and nurturing and um, yeah, just growing out and growing up, my friends. 
So group number three, a shift in consciousness for you, my friends. And it looks like, I mean, this is going to feel like an intense time because there is so much coming online. But um, all of these kings, and then the, it's, it's going to, if, if you can start to apply this, so it's happening, it's already happening for you in terms of your, uh, your inner life in terms of your unconscious. This is online. And what you're called to do right now is to shift your tools to match that. Shift your habits, shift your uh, work possibly. Um, but in any case, you have a lot more freedom to do that now. You know that you will be taken care of. You have everything you need for the universe to come forward and meet you in this as long as you are really moving, starting to move from the highest good. So amazing, you guys. Really happy for you, group number three. Uh, this is the next two weeks. Bright blessings to you. Check back here whenever you need. I am um, putting out videos every Friday. I love, would love for you to subscribe. Um, all right. Thank you so much. Bye.